I think when you make a movie about a real person, in this case, a 17-year-old processing his impending death, I think it's really important to honor the story by having as much of their physical lives present in the movie. I like having Zach's belongings, but I want to share them with other people. This is a part of him living on. So the Sobiaks have actually let us bring all of Zach's clothes from his closet to be used in the film. Bonjour. So half the clothes you see in the movie are Finn wearing Zach's real clothes. His pants shirt is probably my favorite wardrobe piece because it's totally Zach. We'd be crazy to try to recreate those things when they exist already. I mean, these are things that Zach touched and he lived with for his whole life. This frame is a teddy bear. Zach's bedspread that was all signed by his friends. Zach's pillowcase. There's an intangible effect that I think is transferred from that material thing to the actor, which then finds its way onto the screen and affects the energy of the movie. Hey, could you grab my crutches? Yeah, got them. Okay. Have fun up there, okay? <laughs> Thank you. I like seeing Finn on Zach's crutches, the way they're spray painted red and black, in like this really horrible, unprofessional way. They were Zach's sidekick. And they were an extension of him for a long time, and so I really loved that because for me it was kind of like Finn was walking with Zach. Zach was supporting him. Every single day on set, I'm connecting to Zach. It felt very honest. When Finn is recording clouds, not only is he wearing Zach's shirt, but he's using Zach's guitar. And those little things are how Zach kind of comes through and changes the fabric of the movie from wherever he is.